I'm on a train I'm going to Chicago Your big brown eyes Staring out the window Looking out Damn, look at that back piece. Shoo! Fork, knife, please. All right, we have the announcement. So cute. The fabric is so cute. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And we picked little dogs. Oh, baby. Boom. Jesus. I know. This is beautiful. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, that is awesome. They love each other. Well, 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 look who we have here. 
It has been so long since I sat down and did a proper recap with you all, and it's been two months since I've released any form of vlog, so I do apologize, but things have just been super hectic for me, and I'm hoping that through this recap we can, you know, catch up with where I've been and catch up with where you guys have been. But not releasing a vlog in a while got me thinking, do you guys enjoy watching my vlogs? Because out of all of the videos that I release, my vlogs get the least amount of views and engagement, but I personally like making vlogs because I like making digital diaries for me to look back on in the future, and I don't know, it's just fun to document little bits of my life, but I just am curious to know, like, did you guys miss these vlogs and these monthly recaps? Let me know in the comments below. It would be just really encouraging for me to keep putting out vlogs and recaps for you guys. As you saw in the beginning of this vlog, I had my family vacation down Virginia Beach. Also within July, I celebrated the 4th of July with my childhood best friend. We just sat on the rooftop and had wine together and life chats and it's really cool to enjoy 4th of July or any type of firework celebration on my rooftop because you get a panoramic view of the city. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a heating quarter pot. How's that? Oh, that's a big boy. <laughs> Okay. Also, the three of these. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. This is fine. This is too big. <laughs> no. <laughs> Miss ma'am, there's still butter. But then it'll be nice and melty. Mix that more. Firstly, this is too big. Oh. This. Tiny. This will expand. <laughs> I know. We need a happy medium. Just keep in mind, they expand. <laughs> yeah, Emma. I, the pan is not big <laughs> Try one. <laughs> I'm just saying, they taste salty. It's fine, it's just a little salty as well. It's not. Mm. It's not. You're imagining things. <laughs> really? You're crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel unsafe. <laughs> So within the month of July, I did a huge decluttering for my makeup and jewelry and I did film I think like 20 minutes worth of footage of me just decluttering everything but then as I looked through the b-roll I thought people probably wouldn't be interested in this. I'm just gonna leave it as b-roll shots with my voiceover but just so you guys know I did do a full decluttering of my makeup and jewelry because with my makeup I've had some makeup sitting around since high school that I really needed to just let go of and toss. So I got rid of all of that. I separated some makeup that I don't really reach for and gave it away to some of my friends. And then I organized all of the new makeup that I got through PR. And then in terms of jewelry, I wanted to really organize that because I found myself not accessorizing myself. It was because my jewelry was all over the place. My jewelry was spread out in three different boxes around my room and I just needed to go through it again get rid of a bunch of old jewelry that i've had since high school and just organize everything from my earrings to my bracelets etc and now that i've done all of that i find myself experimenting more with my accessories and accessorizing myself every day and then also reaching for new like lipsticks and lip products that i literally would have never done had i not organized all of my makeup so that is all nice and organized now love to see it And then all of my lipstick here is organized and then we have my glosses and like extra lipsticks here love it love it fast forward to the end of july as you guys may or may not know if you're loyal subscribers i got engaged if you want the full proposal story, I will link it here or here, wherever the card is, so that you can watch it. And that video was narrated by my fiancé, Daniel. It was very, very sweet to edit, so go check that out if you want to hear more about the proposal. The time is 5.05. 5. 
I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. Now for a girly that usually doesn't wake up until 9 a.m., 11 a.m. we're feeling particularly tired. Maybe wondering, why am I up at this ungodly hour? That is because I got casted to be an extra on an HBO TV show. Completely not what you were expecting, I know. But if you watched my vlogs from 2022, you would know that I have been casted before to be on an Apple TV show and it was also an extra role, but it ended up not going through because I broke my foot that year. <laughs> so this is our redemption. I always say everything happens for a reason. I will now be getting ready to go on set. First, I thought I'd have a little breakfast. I know they have food tents and everything on site, but you just never know. So I just want like something in my stomach and then I'm obviously drinking coffee because would not be alive without it. My mom lore for when I'm older and my kids are like, oh mom, what did you do when you were younger? This is one of those things. So we ended July on a super high and then August started off with our dog buddy passing away. That took a bigger toll on my mental health than I thought it would. Buddy passed away on August 1st. He was super old. I think he was 14 years old. He got to a point where he couldn't really walk anymore. Whenever we would come home, he didn't really get up to greet us anymore, and it was hard for him to sit down and walk for long periods of time, and it came to a point where we kept having to like pick him up to bring him back inside after walks. It didn't really cross my mind that as he was getting older and becoming less interested in his food and just less interested in us and walks in general. It just didn't occur to me that his time would soon come following those signs. But on August 1st, we found ourselves having to rush to the vet and unfortunately say our goodbyes. You know, I explained in a TikTok video that I was never really a pet person. Buddy was my first dog that I've ever owned. He was the best dog. He was so gentle, so sweet, didn't bark, which was my biggest thing because I work from home. And he was just the sweetest, most quiet little angel. And I, till this day, miss him dearly. I can talk about it without crying. I still really miss him. But when that happened on Thursday, I kind of just mentally checked out for that whole weekend. Was out of office and just really took time for myself and to be with Daniel because it was Daniel's childhood dog, so it definitely affected him way more, but that was just depressing, guys, if I'm being honest. That was really depressing, so it took us a while to kind of bounce back from that. We opted to get Buddy's ashes in an urn, and yeah, may Buddy run in grassy fields forever and ever till the end of time. Love you, Buddy. Following that, we had my birthday celebrations. Daniel treated me to tickets to go see my favorite band ever, which is Mayday Parade. They were headlining the Sad Summer Festival, which I thought was very fitting because the Sad Summer Festival followed Buddy's passing, so I think it was just very much needed for me and Dan to just headbang to really great artists and bands. I kept telling Daniel and like all of my close friends know, it was my life dream to see Mayday Parade live before I died. If I saw Mayday Parade live before dying, then that's a happy life for me. And Dan got us VIP tickets, so we got these cool like booth seats, so I wasn't moshing, I wasn't in the pit or anything like that. I already scream their songs in my room or when I'm working or when I'm cleaning, and to be able to scream their songs like in person, that was a really fun experience. Thank you, Daniel, for treating me to that from my birthday. It was so fun. We celebrated my actual birthday with my family at Longwood Gardens. We gone there a handful of times. Daniel has never been there, but my mom is big on plants and flowers. You know, it's always nice to go every once in a while. So I got some cute pictures there. We had dinner together. I opened presents. For the vlog. And my baby is the grand baby. I'm going to take the vlog over here. How do I do that? Right here? Smell it, it smells really good. <laughs> 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 Here is everyone. 
The end of August, we had our engagement party. We were able to celebrate our engagement with our families because he proposed in front of my family, but we weren't able to host anything with all of our friends. We thought end of August, might as well host a huge party with all of our friends to come celebrate our engagement. And it was the best party we've thrown to date. Like we had a hoagie tray, we had Chick-fil-A nuggets, I made homemade cinnamon toast crunch cake, we had champagne, we had drinks, we had cornhole, we had drinking games. It was just so fun. The only downside is that night I caught a 101 degree fever. As much as I wanted to go out to bars afterwards and continue the party, I couldn't. I was checked out and all of my best friends caught on to that and they just started cleaning up the party at, at like 10 p.m. The party was 5 to 10. We were very responsible adults. Following our engagement party, that was the very end of August going into September, I got pneumonia and bronchitis. Ooh. And so for the entire first week of September, I was out of commission on bed rest i had to go to urgent care and get x-rays done and they prescribed me a bunch of antibiotics and they were just like you need to go on bed rest don't overwork yourself don't push yourself don't do anything for a full week monitor your symptoms etc etc and that kind of sucked not doing anything at all like not even anything youtube or social media related and just being at that standstill kind of had me feeling anxious and antsy i don't know if anyone else feels the same way when it comes to like not being able to be productive or do any work now you're pretty much caught up to speed it is currently september 12th there's a lot of exciting things happening at the end of this month but i think the biggest thing that i've learned upon this whole reflection is that health is wealth really just taking the time that you need for yourself is so so important because throughout the months of july and august i was just pushing myself in terms of client work youtube content creation etc even when i was showing signs of sickness i still kept pushing myself to work really hard and work overtime i think that was what eventually led to my downfall like there was a point where i edited two full youtube videos in under 48 hours and that includes filming i don't know how i did it it was for some brand partnerships don't know how i did it but i did it and i think that pushing myself to work those long hours and perfect things and get things done is what led to my overall health decrease. I also realized that I don't really take time off for myself unless it's something drastic, i.e. my dog passing or me getting pneumonia and bronchitis. Moving forward, I just really want to take time off for myself just for myself. Not because anything dire is happening, but because sometimes I just need to relax and chill out. So I think that was like the biggest takeaway upon this reflection. This wasn't my standard recap where I do like every letter in recap stands for something. Just because I had so much to catch you guys up on. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick recap session. And again, please comment below if you guys enjoy watching my vlogs and recapping with me each month. Because I do want to get back in that system of filming monthly vlogs and recaps for you guys because it's just nice to check in with you guys every once in a while in between all of the table talk episodes and other scheduled videos if you've been here with me thank you if you're new here welcome to the community that is all for this recap session be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next monthly recap bye